my shoes. Hello everyone, <laughs> my name is Paul Smiley, and yeah, uh, not too much to talk about today, but as you can see, it's not too sunny. It was raining earlier today, and it gets to feel, feel a bit drizzle. Anyways, oh well, you know what, I guess we do have something to talk about. Um, so basically, yeah, what I was saying in the last vlog, um, yeah, you know, married, uh, my tattoo reveal, had it since the third of last month, like I said, but... Uh, and then the me rolling the world, you know, that was great. That was great, no. Uh, also, I never really got to say in the last vlog, you know, I was so disappointed in my older full-blooded sister that she wouldn't do the tattoo on me. So I was like, wow, okay. One of the other reasons is why I want to get all those tattoos. I just wanted to be like, yeah, guess what? I actually got it from a good tattoo artist. Did, you know, tattoo artists, when you're one of them, you know, you do what the customer requests of you. You know, that's why you're a tattoo artist. So, yeah. You know, don't get me wrong, Frank didn't do the exact what he copied, but I ended up liking it. That's why I want him on my team. You know, even to now, even though he hasn't answered me in about a month, uh, I still have faith in him. I let him hold on to me and my husband's Yu-Gi-Oh decks and the deck boxes. Which combines to like 500 bucks. Uh, like I said, my husband's decently wealthy. So he was like, yeah, definitely. He likes Yu-Gi-Oh as well. Probably because I like him. He's still kind of a fan of me. So I'm like, yeah. Uh, but he's a cool guy. He's, he's not a super suck up. Be like, oh my gosh, I'll do anything for you. No, it's just we're cool. I love him. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah. So I'm just so disappointed in her for that. I probably will never be the same between me and her. I know you're probably thinking, wow, she's a tattoo. How can you have that with family? It's just, I already hated my blood family members as it was but uh now uh you know i i hate her even more so yeah uh so anyways also you know i guess i might as well say for a few years i've actually had you know it wasn't legally but you know uh an adopted uh child i met her online i personally always like to help people whether it's online or in real life with advice and everything, just help them. I like to help people. That's one of the reasons why I exist, why I exist. And, um, yeah. So basically, I, um, I just, one thing led to another. She started calling me dad and everything. Not the disgusting daddy. Don't fucking, yeah. Yes, I did cuss. Okay. Yes. You know, I try to keep that not on my channel, but it just really pisses me off that, uh, yeah, that is just disgusting. The word daddy back then used to be like, oh, just innocent and everything, but ever since the past few years, it's been disgusting. Oh, it's starting to pick up rain. I'm going to be outside in the, in the front, the front door. But, uh, yeah, so basically that's disgusting. I was like, yeah, no, I don't care if she isn't my blood relative. I see her as my daughter. And she sees me as her dad. And then recently, in the past few months, I got three more. Uh, so now I have two daughters and two sons adopted. You know, not legally. They still live with their uh, with their families. But they look up to me to advice most of the time. And I help them. And then I equally love them. And yeah, so I will eventually make my own kids. But for now, they will be the four that will be, you know, I actually will get tattoo uh, on the back of my hands. You know, if I can point the back of the top and the top of my feet, uh, I'll have their name, their birthday, like the month, day, and the year, and their full name, and then uh, and then that's going to be surrounding an image that they think is most important that they'll tell me, and I'll get that on my certain parts. Like I have, I'll, I decided which one will be on which parts, like on the top of the feet and then the backs of the hand, like this. If I can, dang it, this. Yes. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, you can slightly see it raining. Um, but anyways, yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Basically, um, yeah, that's been happening for a while. I have kids. And even though they don't live with me, you know, I still love them. And I still do my best to give them advice. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically... You know, a good amount of what I wanted to tell you that I haven't, you know, really told in the video really yet before. So, uh, yeah. 
And yes, yes, I know, I used to be all about not cussing, but well, if you see the things that my brother posts, um, the videos that I'm in over there, then yes, I cuss and say a lot of things. <laughs> things like, oh man, but, um, but still, that's just, you know, honestly, that, the, the F word just slipped out of me, because I was just, I feel very strongly about someone calling another person daddy, or just, ugh, no. I don't like that. It's gross. And you're just, I just don't like that. It's, it's disgusting because it used to be an innocent word. Just someone calling their father or dad that. And it just was like nothing thought anyone. Uh, no one thought anything of it. But until recently, past few years, it just got really disgusting. So I was like, yeah, never call me daddy. Never call me any of that. That's disgusting. Uh, I just don't, don't like the meaning of that word anymore. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Um... A lot of my plate. Uh, I'm sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure in the first vlog of me coming back or something like that, I, um, I'm pretty sure if I didn't say it, then yeah, on the 15th of December before 2021, I had a heart attack. And on that day, I thought I was going to die. My best friend saved me. And I just realized ever since the heart attack, I've been getting a lot more, you know, healthy with my body, stronger. I realized it was the stress and the panic from me just thinking I had the world on my shoulders. It wasn't because of my kids or anything like that. It was just the fact that um, that I just, I don't know, I felt like constricted not being able to see my best friend because I felt like I always had to be home, making sure nothing happened to my family. And just I was the ultimate guardian of this place and just all that. And a lot of me felt like I was trapped and I just, that just built up. Uh, how I knew it was the stress and panic, not only did my best friend and his uh, family tell me that they actually had something like that happen to them where it was like a heart attack, basically was a heart attack for things, and then the virus going on, just like all, it's been a horrible year for everyone, 2020 or whatever it was, yeah, yeah, because it, that was when I had the heart attack, because um, of the virus and just everyone just losing things, um, so yeah, it was just, uh, it was just, that's, uh, and I think I have a large heart from, from my dad, just like it was passed down to me from, uh, her heritage. I believe that was as, as well. And I realized a few months ago as well that I'm allergic to shellfish. I've never been allergic to anything before, like nothing like that. When I was at my best friend's, um, I had something shellfish or seafood. I'm pretty sure it's shellfish. And then I was like, wow, why do I feel weird after I ate that? And then later that night, I was all puffy. It was probably the fattest I ever looked in my life. I had, the nose was, my nose was like the size of three of my noses. And I was a very puffy. I was like scratching while I was in my sleep. And then I, uh, all I took was like two Benadryl pills. I think that's what it's called. Whatever it is to have that. It was like two tiny pills. I almost never take medicine because I just have, I want to build a super body. So I don't want to have to depend on medicine. And it, it worked. You know, and then the next day, it's like all of it went gone. The nose was a little bit puffy still, but that was it. And I'm a bit allergic to animal hair, because sometimes when I haven't been to my best friend's house in a while or somewhere where it's like I sleep or spend a lot of time where there's been animal hair, um, my nose gets a bit, uh, no, my eyes get a bit puffy, a tiny bit. You can barely even tell. And just like uh, I get sniffles and stuff like that. Uh, so... I may be allergic a bit to that as well. And something probably in the fruit cocktail. Because every time I had that, uh, I've stopped eating it now. Because I'm like, I really don't like how my tongue feels all scratchy. It's not, it's just like, it's, I don't know what it was. It just feels wrong to me when I eat that. It's just, man, it feels something weird. Maybe I'm allergic to, not just to shellfish, but like I said, to animal hair every once in a while. And, um, and something in fruit cocktail. So, I don't know, the canned fruit co cocktail, that's what I was talking about. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. And the reason why I'm pointing at the ground here, because I don't want, because I'm, I'm right next to my door, I don't want someone to be looking through the window, and then, and especially Finn, my brother, the one I've been recording the videos, but he does not want his face shown. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't really understand why. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Some people are just really sensitive or something. Um, but, yeah, no, um... I'm still having the rule about, yeah, no no cussing or anything like that. I know I'm, I'm a real hypocrite because I literally just cussed 
on my own video that I'm going to be uploading, and then, well, if you've seen my brother's videos that he was uploading, you'll see that I've been cussing and stuff like that, too. Religion is just a joke to me, because it's just like, that's why you hear me say something like God something, and then Jesus something, and, and then it's just like, honestly, I really don't care. If, if something like doesn't exist in front of me, then they really don't exist, and why should I show respect to them? It's like, it's just a name as well, so it's not like, you know, it's whatever. Personally, I think you should become your own god, be your own greatness, don't, you know, worship something and hope things happen, take action yourself. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to rule the world, is because I'm hating, I'm tired of people underestimating me because of my health problems, and just to show people, you know, a hero and someone to look up to, just to show that anyone can be possible of anything, no matter where you came from what you've done, any of that, you can still be great and still do great things for others. You know, you just got to do your best all the time and just, yeah, that's my true ultimate goal. It's just like, yeah, ruling the world sounds evil, but honestly, it's just like, you can see me for how I want. I wear an eye patch now, and for my mask, I wear a scary-looking bear mouth. I probably get judged every time someone looks at me. I don't care. Honestly, I really don't. Um, so, yeah, it's just like, I want to prove to people that, you know, Anyone can succeed. Anyone can be great, no matter what. And as long as you just believe that you can, I'm sure you can. That's what I'm going to do. That's what my new life goal is. Not only to help people, but, you know, to rule the world. And my adopted children are going to be taking four corners of the world. And when I get a bunch of money from my uh, from my secret business, off, oh, probably not going to be right away because, you know, I... I don't know what's been going on with it. It's just, yeah. You know, it sounds like a load of crap, all this stuff I'm saying. But, hey, you know what? When I finally do, and then you see it happening, you'll be like, wow, he wasn't actually... You know, he was telling the truth. Um, so, yeah, it's whatever. You know, sooner or later, it will happen. And there are certain steps I'm taking, like coding is one of the things. I want to be a master coder to be able to not only eventually make video games, but learn how to just learn the ins and outs of data, because the technology era is basically now and going to be probably stronger as long as we don't get extinct from something like the virus or something. So uh, yeah, definitely that'll be a good skill to have to be able to hack. And I'll have tons of people on my team, like Frank, he's going to be my artist and god of knowledge, god of art, god of knowledge. I am the god of light and darkness. I am also the ultimate lightweight champion and the guardian demon and guardian angel. So I basically have four titles, you know, can always have more, but I'm going to be a master at many things. So I will have a team for them to be very skillful, but I want to be able to do things on my own. Because, well, ruler of the world, you got to be able to do tons of things. Another reason why I'm getting the tattoos is because of that, if I didn't say that in the last vlog. So a lot of stuff this vlog, I thought it was going to be a short one, but yeah. So basically, um, yeah, expect more content from me, you know, at least these daily vlogs. But the once a week recording, you know, stuff, PlayStation and Nintendo Switch and other things, but anyways, yeah, I'm in your host, Paul Stamayoi, and goodbye. Oh, <laughs> I didn't end it, I pressed the other one, whoopsies, alright, goodbye, I choose.